Hi, welcome to VCU. My name is Fabio. And I'm Shanna. And today we're going to be taking you on a tour across all the Birmingham City University libraries spread out across the city. Let's so go. let's... which way is... VCU has six main libraries that are available to every student regardless of where you're based. We'll start by showing you the Kendrick Library in the City North Campus. Next, we have our brand new Curzon Library, right in the city center of the Library of School of Art. Next to it, you can find the library at the Conservatoire. In the Jewelry Corridor, we have the library at the School of Jewelry. And last but not least, we have the Mary Seacole Library. Throughout the academic year, the Kendrick Library is usually open for long periods of time. There are a wide range of both print and online resources available. And with the recent opening of the new library, it now means that this learning hub specifically caters to the School of Education, while at the same time giving everybody a spacious place to study. From here, you're just 15 minutes away by train or bus to the City Centre campus, where Fabio is going to show you the university's newest library. Yes, yeah, Shannon, the new returning system is looking pretty cool. And with so many resources available, you are sure to find everything you need to help you with your studies. There's two floors and a variety of rooms to choose from. You can go for something a bit more quiet and private, or you might be in a mood for something a bit more social. Where is everyone? Just 15 minutes walk through the center of Birmingham, perfectly placed next to the city hall and the museums, is the unique School of Art at Margaret Street. You're completely right, Fabio. This school definitely stands out with its alternative design, home to some of the most inspiring student artwork you'll find in the city. Just two minutes round the corner, by Victoria Square, you can find the Conservatoire, which hosts a library rich with music-related resources. A quick walk towards the heart of the famous jewellery quarter will take you to the School of Jewellery on Victoria Street. If you have an interest in jewellery, you should definitely pay a visit to the library in here. He has a collection of books that you won't find anywhere else. Heading southwest towards Edge Baston will take you to the City South Campus where you can visit the Mary C. Cole Library. Despite being a 40 minute walk from Victoria Street, you might want to take the chance to see some of the most iconic sites Birmingham has to offer. The Mary C. Cole Library specialises in health and education. The state-of-the-art facilities offer an extensive range of information and reference materials, set out in a relaxing environment with spaces for both group and private study. So, hope you guys enjoyed the journey. Hello. And, uh, oh, there you are. So, Not that much, to be fair. Well, essentially, you saw all the different libraries that we have across all the different campuses, so just make sure to go and visit them. You're welcome to go to any library, no matter what campus you're actually based at. It's a good opportunity to do some networking and obviously make some friends. So, if you see us around, say hi. 